Hola bandidos, ¿cómo estamos? Welcome to Mel's Magic Official. I'm Magic Mel and this is my angel Charles. Welcome to episode 18 or is it 19? 19 of season 11. Guys, it is All Souls Day. It's a special day for us to remember the bigger picture that we are part of a lineage. We have ancestors that are rooting for us that are on our side, that are guiding us from the higher spheres. And let's remember that we carry them within us, you know? So be proud of who you are and how far you've come and where you come from. Let's remember our ancestry line. Since it is the second anniversary of Mel's Magic Official, I've decided to offer pro bono sessions this month. So you know, or you may not know that I'm a coach. I'm a joy coach. I've been trained by Melissa Tears and Simone Soul. I'm part of the Ethical Coaching Collective and I'm an integrative change worker. So here are a few things I can help you with. And I'm going to read them out because some things might be beyond my scope. So I want to tell you what I can help you change, transmute. And if you feel that it's something that applies to you and you would like to have a pro bono session with me, then fill out um, the Calendly link that I posted in the description box below and make an appointment with me, okay? There'll be one hour sessions, one on one with me via Zoom. And before you book the appointment, there are two questions that I would like you to answer, which is, Number one, what is it that you want to transmute or change? And number two, what would it feel like once you've done that change? Okay, so here are the things that I can help you with. Firstly, I can give you and teach you tools to down-regulate your parasympathetic nervous system, meaning I can teach you tools to soothe yourselves in times of stress, anger, anxiety, or other triggers and highly activated states of emotion. That's the first one. Secondly, I can be an energetic container, meaning I can hold space for you to relieve pent up emotions. Number three, I can help you rewrite a painful memory that shows up as a trigger in your present. Number four, I can help you visualize your desired reality and activate that reality in the present moment with you. And number six, I can help you transmute your pain through metaphoric visu visualization. <laughs> I always find it difficult to say that word. So if you think that any of these apply to you and you would like to have a pro bono session with me this month as a thank you and as a way of giving back in these times of upheaval and crisis, let me know and we'll have a session, okay? It's my way of showing gratitude and giving back. So this session, I wanted to pull a card from the sacred, gosh, I even forgot the name of this, sacred psychic deck, well, whatever, something like that. <laughs> this deck, which I barely use. I'm gonna pull one card to talk about with you. And this card will be a message from your spirit team because nothing is random. So if you're watching this episode, which is also timeless, know that it's for you and know that, well, see if it resonates, but if it resonates, know that it's for you because nothing is random in this universe. Vale? Vamos allá. I'm connecting with your Asga team. Come on, guys. Angels, spirit guides, gods and goddesses and ancestors who are rooting for you, especially today, but always. What message do they have for you on this All Souls Day? Well, hope you're doing well. How was your Halloween? Did you go out? <laughs> I haven't done anything. I'm just being quite hermit these days. I remember four years ago, five years ago, I was in Malaysia. It was wild. I spent three months in a botanical garden, like a jungle, basically. <laughs> And I went out into the jungle on my, all on my own at night. It was crazy. Then I was in Mexico four years ago, which was also special. Rest. 
one of my favorite topics. Have you been in overdrive? Have you been depleting your own resources, internal resources? Have you been in the proverbial hamster wheel, sans arrêt, without stopping? Have you been feeling like you're always running after things, that there's not enough time, that there's not enough money, opportunities, time to rest? One of the big aspects of the Divine Feminine Rising again is rest. Tuning into our natural rhythm. Tuning into our energetic cycles, which we all have, just like nature has seasons. We're not meant to produce and work and do and act all the time. In fact, that is a trauma response. The need to be in action always, otherwise fill in the blanks. It's a fear response. To pause and rest might seem like a privilege. But if you think about it, while we're racing ahead, running after things, chasing things, chasing resources in the exterior, we are depleting our true resources, which are internal, and which we can only truly tap into when we are grounded and rested. <clears throat> You might feel the need for what you may label as unnormal amounts of rest. Perhaps that is your body making up for all the rest that you haven't allowed yourself to bask in in the past. Your body might be catching up, so to speak. If that is the case, let it. Allow yourself. The more we come from a state of scarcity, from a depleted state, the more we will create that depleted state in our exterior. Just look at what's happening outside. The outside world is a reflection of our inner world. And you might say, yeah, magic mail, easy, but what about my job? What about my responsibilities? I'm not saying don't attend to your responsibilities, but if we spread ourselves too thin, we're no good to anyone. Our ego might like to think, yeah, but... I'm proving myself, I'm trying my best, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Yes, at the expense of whom? Are you really present? Are you really able to give of your true energy when you're depleted? Are you really able to be truly present in mind, body, spirit when you're depleted? Or are you just there in body and with your mind already racing ahead for the next thing, spreading yourself everything, not really being truly present for anyone or anything? It took me <laughs> a large doses of humbling myself once I allowed myself to rest because my ego said, yeah, but I have to do all these things. My ego, my ego, our ego always thinks it has to do things to prove itself, to stay active in motion. But the world is still the same even after one day of rest, two days of rest, a week rest, a month rest, whatever is possible for you. We can really appreciate things when we're rested and grounded and present. What does rest actually look like to you? Is it lying on the couch and scrolling through your social media? Is that truly restful for you or perhaps you need short periods of deep rest of complete disconnection of calming and soothing your mind of breathing of 
going out in nature, resourcing yourself from nature, grounding yourself through your feet with Mother Earth, dipping your feet in the river or in the sea. What does true rest mean to you? How can you give yourself true rest, your mind, your body, your soul? What do you need to nurture yourself? What do you need to resource yourself? What voices do you need to hear? What music do you need to hear? What sense do you need to smell? What peace do you need to feel? Who do you need to hug? What makes you smile? What makes you feel truly rested? And if you don't allow yourself to rest, why? The Divine Feminine in us calls us to rest, to regroup, to regenerate, to resource ourselves, to then embody a more grounded energy, a more wholesome energy, a more connected energy. We are not only depleting resources in the outside, we're depleting our own inner resources. We run on empty and then artificially hype ourselves up with coffee, with sugar, because we're addicted to cortisol <laughs> and adrenaline. Rest might feel deeply uncomfortable and triggering if we're not used to it, if we've never really allowed ourselves to rest for no other reason than the need to rest, the desire to rest. We think we need to have proven ourselves first in order to be worthy of rest. Ask yourself some questions. Instead of the extra vitamins, the extra pills, the extra coffee, maybe you just need a deep restful power nap or a good night sleep. Oops, guys, my computer <laughs> shut down. <laughs> What helps you to truly rest? I'm like a cave woman. I need like dark lights and <laughs> cool temperatures and silence. How can you provide a more conducive environment and ambience for you to rest properly? What can you adapt and change and modify in your environment? That's the card for today. It's an important aspect in these times of endless strife and endless proving and endless action it's all part of the toxic masculine energy nothing to do with gender we all have masculine and feminine energy the healthy masculine energy is willpower go-getter the toxic one is action that overrides everything that is stress driven that goes after constant aggregation, and then thus creating depletion. How is your balancing of masculine and feminine energy in your inside? Do you make space for your inner feminine, your intuition, your need for rest, your need for grounding, your need for silence, your need for nurturing, your need for caring? The feminine within all of us needs to be given space and the expression of healthy feminine energy and healthy masculine energy needs to be created we need both we need to find balance in both in expression of both does your inner masculine allow your inner feminine to rest or is he a tyrant extracting and depleting yourself. I'll leave it at that to ponder and answer for yourself. Remember, I'm posting my Calendly link in the description box below in the month of November. If you want a pro bono session with more, sign up and we'll connect on Zoom. Okay? If you have any questions, email me also. Oh. And <laughs> before you book, please post a comment or 
a heart in this video below this video so i know that you're engaging and i know who you are but deal mama saya charles and i've got your back we got this guys ciao